Look at this guy's massive blocky face. Oh my god. These characters look really good. Like, this game has an exceptionally simplistic art style, but at the same time, it does actually look really nice. Like, all the little details on these people's faces. Um, I'm playing it on PC, and I have pumped the graphics up to the very top, but look at them! <laughs> these people look nuts! Right, welcome everyone. Uh, this is Paint the Town Red VR, and would you believe me if I told you this is probably one of the most violent VR games I have ever seen? It's incredible. The level of gore and violence in this is bonkers. Now, before I get into said violence, this game is basically very similar to Drunken Bar Fight or Gorn or Blade and Sorcery. It's a brawler combat simulator where you beat the living hell out of these Minecraft headed people. Hello there. Um, you do so with your fists, with your hands, your fists, or with items in the environment, like that chair, or like, can I grab the cup? Yeah, I can grab the cup. You can grab basically anything from within the environment and start murdering people with them. Let's just get into some carnage. Right, I don't like the song this band is playing. Mate, you absolutely suck. <laughs> oh, it's gone very quiet all of a sudden. Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, so then a full, like, bar brawl breaks out. Um, people aren't just fighting me, they're fighting each other. Hello, mate. <laughs> Look how violent it is. <laughs> oh my god. Pool cue, give me the pool cue. <laughs> Look at the big chunks of head that come off. Who's playing music again? Oh my god, okay, I need to get out of here, it's getting pretty messy. Right, give me that cup. Oh my god. Ugh, this is flipping violent. For a game that looks, ah, like Minecraft, it certainly is far more violent than Minecraft. If you've ever wanted to beat the living hell out of Steve from Minecraft, then uh, paint the town red. <laughs> Probably the game for you. Oh my, get out of here, you freaks. Leave me alone. Right, give me that pool cue. Ugh. Can I stab you with this? Oh, oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Not sure. Um, are these like meant to be pool balls, except they're squares. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> Stop coming for me, you freak! Oh, I think there's a knife on this dartboard. There is. Okay. Right. Check this out. Oh, oh, God! Oh, oh, oh! See what I mean? Look at it! Big bits of their face! It's very... <laughs> it's a great way to let off some steam. Oh my god. Ugh, take that, you shit! Now basically in this game you just keep going until everyone in the level is dead. Ah! Get out of here, you! And you... Oh, oh, oh ah, get off the... Oh, stupid man. Take that. So yeah, you keep going until everyone's dead or until you die. Now I do have a health meter, it is running quite low to be honest, so I need to be careful. Oh. Um, and there's a bunch of different levels and environments that you can cause chaos in, it's not just this bar. And then there's tons of modifiers as well to change how the action plays out, and I'll show you those in just a moment. What's going on here? Hey? What's going on here? Oh no, I'm gonna die. I have a little punch. Cheeky little- what's that guy got? Oh, he's got a massive machete! He's got a massive machete. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Put that, oh my god, put that down. You freak. Okay, I've got a special move ready. Uh, shockwave, trigger it. What did that do? Some stuff fell down upstairs. I don't think, I don't think that was as impressive as I was hoping. Uh, shockwave, let's do it again. Oh, it pushes them back if they're close enough. That's very cool. Right, this guy needs to go because he has the massive machete. He is not dying, he's a tank. He's a bloody tank! It's mate! How many chairs does it take to kill you? I want his machete. Yes! Look at this shiny square sword, right. Oh! oh my! Oh! Oh no! Okay, it's very violent now. They're all dead. They have to all be dead. I really don't want to die, but it, oh, the level keeps going. I can go downstairs. Bugger off. Ugh. 
Right, I'm trying to build up my big special move, because you've got like three tiers of special move. The first one... That person's got no skin on their face! That's disgusting! Uh, the first one is the shockwave, which is a little bit underwhelming. The second one is like some kind of berserk punching. And then the third one is smite. And that's where I want to get to. Um, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. I just need to not die. Ah, die. Press trigger to smite. Sm uh, smite. Smite this guy. Uh, all these people. Smite them. Is is God literally going to smite these people? Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. That's a, that's a lot of blood. That's... That's a lot of blood. Can I continue to smite? Smite them. Smite them guys over there. <sighs> okay, I must be nearly done. I've got so little health. If someone kills me now, I'm going to be furious. How many people are left? Anyone in here? No. Uh, a couple of bottles. Right, give me these bottles. Oh, who the hell are you? Ah, jeez, that scared the hell out of me. Stab. Stab. Ah, take that. Oh, dear. Are you all dead? Please be dead. I, on, I'm so close to winning this. I do not want to lose now. Berserk mode. Oh my god, I've got powerful Goku fists. Goku fists of fury. Everyone's getting mulched. Yes, I am going to win. Who's left? Who's still alive? Three enemies remain. Oh my god, there's blood everywhere. Who's this boxer? Where's this guy come from? What? I thought I was done. Now this boxer's turned up. What the hell? Oh, Gabby, you're worried about this big boxer, dude. Take that! <laughs> yeah, oh no! He better not kill me. Oh, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Dude, you're literally the last man alive. Why are you even trying? <laughs> Look at all these people I've murdered. Holy hell. I think I'm done. Oh, he's still alive. He's definitely not alive now. A little bit of his brain came out and went on the floor. So yeah. Then you just kind of breathe it in. Um, breathe in all the carnage, all the chaos, all the violence. Do you now believe me that this is one of the most violent VR games I've ever played? It's actually insane, insane, insane. It's it's crazy. It's such a great way to let off some steam, though, I have to say. Right, let's jump into a different level and check out some modifiers. Right, let me just show you the menus of Paint the Town Red so you can get a good idea of all the content that is available in this product. Now, don't get me wrong, regardless of the mode you select, it is going to be a brawler. It's an arena brawler at heart. You will just be smashing people to bits with your bare hands and weapons. So if you don't typically get on with games like Gorn or Drunken Bar Fight, this might not be for you. But it is a lot of fun, I have to say. So you've got a tutorial which teaches you how to play the game. Pretty straightforward. You have scenarios. Now, I was playing this just a second ago. This is where I did the biker bar. There's a bunch of different levels in here to pick from. And with each level, you can play standard, which is what I was just doing, or challenge, which is a global leaderboard to see how quickly you can clear the level. Um, and then you can also apply modifiers to the levels. So as you can see, there are tons of these level modifiers. Now, these can be applied kind of one at a time, or you can switch on tons of them. Some automatically switch on others and some cancel each other out but basically these are modifiers that change the way the scenario plays so you can have no weapons you can have punching only um, give everyone a pistol uh, double jump boom hands is a good one your hands turn into like explosive weapons and punching people just annihilates them so you can play with all of this stuff in each of the scenario levels to give you kind of almost unlimited gameplay it's always going to be the same concept, kill all the people, but the way you tackle it will be completely different and you can make it harder for yourself, easier for yourself. So loads of things to play with in there. So yeah, you've got a nice little selection of levels here in the scenario mode. You've also got Beneath, which is like a roguelite dungeon crawler. You're progressing through levels. This is probably the closest thing this game has to a story mode. You upgrade your character. There's different types of characters in there. Really fleshed out, more fleshed out than I thought it would be. Then you've got Arena, a series of challenges you have to fight through in arenas, or you can play Endless. And you can even play player-created levels, or at least you can here on Steam. Now, these levels won't always work perfectly. It does say down here, many workshop levels might run too slowly in VR because they've got too many assets in them 
but you can still download them and you can still play them. Right, let's check out a different level. Let's cause some chaos in the prison, but I'm going to apply a modifier. I'm going to add pistols shooter. So I think that will give everyone pistols, uh, which won't be awful at all. Right, I'm in prison now. Check it out. Got my little orange jumpsuit on. The arms in this game are really weird. You can move them right out in front of yourself. So they feel completely detached from my real arms right now. Like, they're so far away. But that does mean you can punch someone who's a pretty decent distance away from you, which is which is unique. Um, so everyone now should have a gun. Okay. Right. Everyone has a gun now. These guys not shooting each other. They're in some kind of weird Mexican standoff. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hello. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How am I supposed to win in this scenario when every single person has a gun and I just have my bare hands? Uh... Oh no, is there a spare gun somewhere I can use? Uh, no, just like these tiny little pumpkins. I guess they're supposed to be oranges or something. Right, um, okay, I need to kill someone with these oranges so I can get their gun. Oh no, everyone's shooting me because I came through this door. I've gone in some kind of back area, prison break style. Oh no, it didn't work. Oh, oh his, his arm fell off. Oh dear, okay, that'll work. Jeez. Ah! <laughs> I don't like the pistols. Oh no, give me that gun. I don't like the pistols. The bullets are really floaty. Oh, I got him. He's got a bloody helmet on. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> what, the what is happening? Throw the gun. Ah! Oh my. Throw the gun. That was too far. Oh, okay. Yeah, with, um, with guns, that's much harder. I did 50 kills out of 73. That's pretty good. I don't think I killed 50 people. I think 50 people just died. Right, what if we select super hot? What happens if we select super hot? I'm so curious about this. Oh my god, it is actually super hot. Time moves only when you move. <gasps> oh my <laughs> This is so cool! It's actually super hot. <laughs> Look at that! That's wicked! Right, I need a, I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Oh, this is so cool, and it's all got the same kind of aesthetic. It's all white and black and white and red. Right, you're gonna die. Ugh, oh, and they explode like super hot as well. They explode exactly like super hot. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, we need to be careful. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Okay, if I don't move, you won't move. But I do want to throw this at you. That'll do. Right, here we go. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> Take that, you shits. What's that guy doing with the whole barbell? That's a little bit excessive, buddy. That's a little bit excess. Not for me. There we go. Oh, yes. Bosh. Give me the middle bar. Bang. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I'm guessing I don't have a lot of health. I'm guessing if I get hit in this mode, I probably will fail. Because that's how super hot works, right? Like, one hit and it's over. <sighs> I haven't taken a hit so far. Not planning on taking one. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen, like a blocky Minecraft looking super hot in VR where I get to explode all these uh, creepy red people. It's such a bizarre experience. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Oh no, they're bloody coming for me. Oh, oh flipping heck. Oh, it's getting a bit intense. A little bit intense. Long range throw. Ah! actually hit him. That was amazing. Whew, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Ugh, die. There we go. Jumping punch. Ugh. Jumping double punch. Ugh. Last guy has a shield. But if I hit his legs, he'll still die, right? Yep. <laughs> That's amazing. Is that everyone? Looks like it should be. Oh, nope. There's one dude. Big dude comes in right at the end. What an idiot. Yeah, great. How did that work out for you, mate? Your head came off immediately. Right, we'll have a little look at Pirate Cove. Oh my god, this level looks amazing. And then we'll check out one of the custom levels that you can download and play on Steam VR thanks to the Steam Workshop. Those levels might not work well um, because they've got a lot of assets in them. They might run slower. The game does warn you of that. But I do want to check one out because I think it will be funny and interesting to see how well it runs. Right, with the Boom Hands modifier, I should be able to punch a big hole through the back of this guy's head. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that was way more aggressive than I had planned. 
He's just, there's nothing left of him. Look at him. He's just bits now. He's just little pixely bits. Right. Double jump. I've got some cool modifiers on right now. Hello, laddies. How's it going? You all right? Check this out. What the hell? What? Oh, okay. I put on a modifier that just turns people into um, mush. Jesus. Hey. Oh, that's too much. That's just too much, isn't it? That's insane. Check this out. Oh, oh, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> How does the game cope with all these little bits rolling around? It's actually running pretty smoothly. And I find that quite impressive, all things considered. Get out of here, you. Mate, get harpooned. Oh dear, I might need to turn that modifier off because um, people are just falling into bits. It looks like there's sharks in the water. Can I go in the water? Oh no, okay, no, no, don't do that. Don't go in the water. Water's bad, don't go in the water. Terrible idea. Okay, this is a user-generated level and it's not performing very well immediately. I can already feel that the frame rate is low and it's stuttering quite a lot. Um, but the game does warn you of this. If you play the larger, more complex user-generated content, it won't necessarily run well. Um, but it's still cool that you can access it to start with. Maybe if I get inside one of the buildings, it will run better. Take that. Right. I'm going to get inside. That looked like Freddy Mercury. Okay, it's running a little bit better inside, but it's still pretty rough. Don't be of that man. How dare you? How dare you? Ah! Ah! Oh, don't... Ah! He's not going down. He's too tough. He's too tough. I'm beating him black and blue, but he's not going down. I broke his nose. Oh, my God. He's down. He's down. Stay down. Stay down. Give me that. What is that? Oh, what have you got? Some kind of stun stick? Whoa. Oh my! <laughs> His head fell off! Oh, I died. Oh, I died. Nine kills out of 255. That is why the level wasn't running well. There are 255 dudes to kill on that level. That's nuts. Right, I'm going to leave it here. This is Paint the Town Red VR. This comes out tomorrow, and it's a DLC for the main Paint the Town Red game on Steam, but it is releasing for PSVR 2 as well as a standalone thing, and also on Meta Quest. I, I really like it. It's a silly, a very silly, very violent arena brawler. It does have the kind of roguelite adventure mode as well, so if you want something a bit more substantial, there is some content in here, which... Hello, sir. Hello. Hello there. There is some content in here which will scratch that itch for you if you want something a bit more substantial, you want something that's more akin to a proper adventure game, but the bulk of this game really is running around and just, you know, causing bloody chaos and murdering people. So, know what you're getting into. Ah! before you buy the game. You're not going to get like a... It's not a Minecraft-style adventure game. You know, it might look like Minecraft, but I promise you, it is far from Minecraft. It has more in common with Gorn and Drunken Bar Fight than anything else. Ooh, a nice little lantern. That's cute. I like that. Look at that. Can I turn it on? No, I can't turn it on. Why is there like a mariachi man in here? Don't know, but his hand's bloody gone. Right, give me that poker. Oi! Bugger off you. His whole arm's fallen off now. All I want to do is throw this at this guy. He looks really scary. Oh, he is scary. Ah, run away. <laughs> run away. Get a chair. Get involved. Oh my god, there's so many people to kill in this level. And they're all coming for me for some reason. I've not done anything wrong. Leave me alone, you big freak. Get out of here. Go away. Oh my god, he's massive. Oh my god, he's mad. Take that. Take that. Oh god. Take that. I can't punch him to death. I need to do more than just punch. Oh my god, he's a tank. He's actually a tank. Oh lordy. Give me something. Give me that kettle. That'll do. Oh no, he doesn't like the kettle. Give me this big plate. Oh, he hates that as well. Oh my god, he's so angry. Have that. Oh my lord. Right. Shockwaving these people and then I'm leaving it. Here we go. See you later, guys. Oh no. That was amazing. They're all dead. Right, I hope you enjoyed everyone. If you have, please do leave a like, drop a comment down below, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon for another one. Right, take care, everyone. Leave me alone, mate. Leave me alone. Bye. Oh, she's on fire. Why is she on fire? Who did that? That wasn't me. That that wasn't me. That was, that was someone else. That's mean. You can't just set people on fire. Bloody hell. Where are your manners?